Hey guys, my chance just got to Toronto. I forgot how cold winters in Toronto are. It's windy, it's freezing, but it's the perfect setting for what I'm about to eat tonight. I think I might've just found the best all you can eat hop up buffet maybe ever. So to prepare, I'm gonna go get a workout in. And also a big thank you and shout out to the sponsor of this video, Athletic Greens. AG1 has been part of my daily routine for almost two years now. Sometimes before a workout, if I feel a little sluggish and need an extra boost of energy, I'll take another scoop or a travel pack right before the workout. All I gotta do, add it to my travel bottle, eight to 12 ounces of water, shake it up, drink. I feel a lot of times good habits are hard to keep because you, you don't really enjoy it. But this, so simple. I mentioned this in the past video and I showed you guys all the bottles of vitamins I used to take and I used to carry around with me. I think I had at least half a dozen bottles. And every time I go somewhere, I have to make sure I have enough to last me the trip. Some might run out before others. But now I do, I take my travel bottle, I take some travel packs of AG1 and every single pack gets me 75 vitamins, minerals, probiotics, which I desperately need. Whole food sourced superfoods. It's just a really convenient way for me to stay healthy. And when you get your box inside, you'll have your travel bottle, you have a pouch, you'll get a year's supply of vitamin D, you'll get some travel packs, and AG1 always follows the latest research. They go beyond third-party testing to make sure whatever they're giving you, you're getting the highest quality and the best nutritional daily habits on the planet. So if you want to give it a try, go to my link down below. You'll get a year's supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your water. It's so convenient. I know I'm covering my nutritional bases because AG1 really does provide your body with everything it needs for optimal performance every single day. All right, let's go check out this hot pot. I think it's been pretty amazing. Oh, look at this. They got a whole chopped up lobster as well. I can't believe this is 20 bucks. Hey guys, Mike Chen here in Toronto, spending about a day and a half here. Kind of a long layover. It feels like every time I come to Toronto, there's new restaurants, new dessert places, new bubble tea shops. I've never been in this plaza before. And this place is an all you can eat, lobster, crab, tons of other items, hot pot for around 20 US dollars. And they have all their ingredients set up in the back of this restaurant. And they all seem to be on skewers. Let's go check it out. This is the sauce bar, and look at this. I've never seen this at a hot pot buffet before. Tons of ingredients from mushrooms to noodles, sausage, shrimp, scallops, all on skewers. Oh my gosh. Check this out. They got giant lobster heads. Oh with all that delicious inner still left inside and Dungeness crab as well. I might look a little intimidating, but that's the good stuff. And then right next door, there's mushrooms on top. There's pork ribs, spicy pork belly, five spice beef, mala beef, meats with enoki mushrooms, with celery, with cilantro. Oh, look at this. If you're not into the innards, they got a whole chopped up lobster as well. I can't believe this is 20 bucks. This is amazing ingredients. <sighs> Let's eat. Snag me a lobster claw literally just chopped up a lobster and put it over here. And they did not skimp on the meats either. Oh, there's a lobster tail too. Oh, this is so nice. Dungeness crab innards. The turf plate, some lamb, tofu skin, mushrooms. Ooh, bamboo. Oh, this is the good stuff. Lettuce stems, jellyfish, heck yes. What a year. Come Jack, shrimp dumpling, shrimp bag. One word to describe this hot pot buffet even before eating it, overwhelming. So many different ingredients. Everything looks so enticing. It's just ingredients that you don't typically see at an all you can eat hot pot buffet. So, got the spare rib broth. 
This is very, very good. A lot of flavor, very nice. <coughs> spicy one, definitely spicy. But look at that plate of seafood. I mean, this is just incredible. Not just like regular size lobster, but the size of this claw. Make this one spicy. This looks so beautiful with all that delicious crab innards in here. I'm gonna try to keep that upright and just drift it in. Round one probably only got about 5% of the ingredients that's over there. This is so, again, like I said, overwhelming. Tofu skin with chilies. Something I always ate when I was a kid. Mm. This chili mixture is awesome. This is their house chili mixture. Sesame in here. The chilies are extremely, extremely spicy. Some cumin as well. I love this place already. And when you're done with the skewer, drop it in. Threw some sliced lamb in here as well. Mm. Ah, everything is so good. Here is that crab with the innards mostly intact. Here it is. All that delicious innards. I'm not even mad that a lot of this stuff got lost in the broth. It's just gonna make the broth even better. Best part of the crab, in my humble opinion. Mm. This is, has so, so much flavor. What you can also do with this, dunk it in a little dipping sauce, dunk it in this umami filled sauce inside the crab, mm. and then just shoot it down. This mixed with their amazing hot pot broth. That tastes like the world's most delicious crab soup. I don't know why this hot pot place is not always packed all the time. I think my lobster's ready. This is the first time that I've ever had the pleasure of such a giant lobster claw in my hot pot. Sweet. Succulent, delicious. No dipping sauce needed. Lobster is just such a great ingredient for hot pot. It's naturally sweet, and when you cook it in that savory broth, it's just something special. Also, with all the seafood that's in here, this broth at the end, that's gonna be some life-changing stuff. Spicy Cuban sesame lobster tail. This is already one of the happiest hot pot experiences I've ever had, and I just started to eat. Mm, a little fish cake pouch with shrimp and fish eggs inside. Mm, wow, that's good. That's one of my favorite things on this buffet. Also, if you've never had a lettuce stand before, you gotta try it. If you don't cook it too long, it's nice and crispy. I definitely cooked it way too long. Now it kind of just tastes like a pumpkin. Still good. Oh, the Dungeness crab is good. It's so good. This thing is sweeter than the lobster. This cooked in hot pot broth? Wow, over luxuriously sweet, tender crab. Dunk it back in the broth a little bit to add some savoriness and some heat. Oh, I think that might be better than a lobster. And I love the lobster. There's a ginormous lobster head over there. I know it's good, but it's intimidating me a little bit. So I got a smaller lobster head. More potatoes, more konjac. Got some more scallops, and definitely more meat this round. That beef is hella tender. I love the variety of dipping your ingredients between traditional hot pot dipping sauces and cumin and chilies. It just makes things more fun. This is beef and sour green beans. The seafood quality is good. The meat quality is good. Oh, what, is, what, is, what is this? It's like a big clump of meat that I got. Mm, it's chicken cartilage. <laughs> if you look around, it's really interesting. There's people here who all they eat are these skewers and their entire tube is just full of skewers. It's really fun to be just sitting here Eat a skewer, have a drink, and usually you skewer at a restaurant. There's at least a buck or two. Here, all you can eat. And really, don't seem like they have a time limit either. Did I just die and get a hot pot heaven? Wouldn't be surprised. If you come here, 100% recommend the jellyfish. 
Mmm, so crunchy and good. Also the scallops. I think my lobster head is ready. Oh, my lobster innards are gone. I think I found a little piece of my lobster innards. Very, 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 very creamy. Now for the most exciting part, getting some noodles, soak up all that delicious seafoody broth. I don't think I've ever been as excited to drink hot pot noodle soup broth as I am right now. Oh wow, this broth was really good to begin with. Now I just wanna keep adding the broth into my bowl until I finish all of it. Before it was nice and porky, a little herby. It was already delicious. Now add all that amazing seafood that has steeped into the soup, including all the great lobster inners, crab inners, scallops, jellyfish, lamb, beef, everything stewed in there for the last hour. That flavor. Ah, uh, it's truly exceptional. And noodles cooked in that? Mm. This is the best hot pot noodle soup I've ever made. And they give you all sorts of different types of noodles. You can have ramen, rice noodles. I prefer these thick broad noodles. What a way to wrap up this hot pot meal. I think in terms of value, ingredients, flavor, pretty much everything. This is the best all you can eat hot pot I've ever been to in my life. 100% number one. Where can you go for $20? You get lobster, Dungeness, pretty much the entire cast of the Little Mermaid, all the different meat skewers, plus the broth actually being extremely delicious. What a great first meal here in Toronto. I'm gonna finish my noodles, get some sleep. More food tomorrow. What? Malona? Oh, and when you're leaving this place, don't forget to grab your Malona Popsicle. It's a cold, snowy morning here in Toronto. Breakfast is gonna be something, not gonna be traditional breakfast. It's gonna be kind of, kind of, you'll see. I am here at La Magna's Bakery, and they serve traditional bakery items and pizza. So a regular slice of pizza for breakfast, that's not enough. Here, this is the slice of the pizza. I feel so warm and happy in my arms. Look at the size of this. You know when I first saw Honey, I Shrunk the Kids? I wish I would shrink and, and, and then a regular slice of pizza would just be a, like a monster slice of pizza for me. And now that dream has come true. This is the pepperoni. Ooh. In case this wasn't enough, I got two pizzas. This one, if you can tell, it's way thicker than the other pizza box because this is a dessert pizza and this it's a donut pizza. And look at how beautiful this is. Pizza dough on the bottom, there's frosting right above that. And then pink sprinkled donuts covering the top. I think Homer Simpson would have a cow. Now the biggest challenge, trying to eat it. You gotta kind of cradle it like, like a baby. The crust is remarkably thin. Tons of pepperoni on top. I mean, it's a giant pizza. It's also a really tasty pizza. If you can tell, it's really thin, crushed. It's kind of like a New York style pizza. I'm gonna try to give it a New York fold. Crush is thin and airy. Pepperoni's nice and toasty. This is a delicious, ginormous slice of pizza. Now for some dessert. And this is gonna be, I know this is gonna be so heavy. I don't know how I can even pick this up. This is at least a dozen donuts here. And yeah, I don't know if I can lift this. I have to get my whole arm under it. And this is not ugh, coming out easy. Maybe take a bite of the donut first. The donuts are very nice and airy. This is definitely a messy pizza. I'm getting frosty all over my hands. I want to take a bite of this dough. This there's definitely a sugar overload. Donuts are glazed, covered in this pink frosting, sitting on top of a layer of white frosting as well. The donuts are good, but this frosting pizza, that's delicious. Thin, airy pizza dough, just like on the pepperoni. They definitely got the pizza dough down, regardless of the size of the pizza. Frosting is a nice compliment. This is actually a really good dessert pizza. And it's just so beautiful. This place, their pizza is not just fun and giant. I can confirm, actually tastes good as well. All right, I'm gonna go meet up with some friends and have a Little pizza party. See you for dinner. All 
I love going to different types of buffets all around the world, and I am here at Caribbean Queen Buffet. This is an all-you-can-eat Caribbean buffet. So this place, there's all you can buffet, there's a takeout. I kind of came at a weird time. I came here about at 4.30, so it's kind of between lunch and dinner. So not that many items on the buffet, but whatever is there is smelling incredible. So I got some barbecue chicken, some stewed chicken, jerk chicken, regular fried chicken, beans and rice. Fried chicken just came out of the fryer, looking crispy and smelling amazing. Drumstick, perfectly crispy and juicy. Chase it with some rice and beans. And mix some of that stewed chicken into the rice and beans as well. Well, oh, that stewed chicken is so good. Wow. I mean, the chicken is tender, but that sauce is amazing. Super deep and flavorful. A tiny hint of sweetness. Oh, it just goes perfect with the rice and beans. The honey garlic chicken. I really like this. Nice and sweet, very garlicky. And the barbecue chicken. Sweet and tangy. That chicken is just so juicy. Both of those pieces, very finger licking good. Finally, my favorite, jerk chicken. Um, heck to the, yeah, oh, so good. I love jerk chicken so much and they do it so well here jerk chicken is definitely the first caribbean dish i've ever had and i first had it when i moved to new york and i remember when i first moved to new york i spent a year working down at water street and there was a lovely food vendor named beverly who was set up a food cart right around the corner where i was working and she only sold jerk chicken and oxtail and that's what i had that whole year pretty much every single day for lunch that chicken is just fall off the bone tender it's spicy it's smoky it's probably one of my favorite chicken dishes in the world you can have as much as you want of it right here i'm getting some more got some more stewed chicken mm. and i love the sauce from the stewed chicken get it all over my rice and beans mm. and of course jerk chicken mm so much smoke in every single bite and then that spice just hits your tongue a little bit later i definitely need to come back when they have every single dish reloaded on the buffet from the few dishes that i've had i already know there's gonna be a place i want to come back to all right gotta go run some errands and then we'll go grab some dinner pretty much been just driving from restaurant to restaurant because each segment of drive is taking at least one hour in the snowstorm and right now i am at pumu this is a Korean Chinese restaurant. Their jumbo is supposed to be really good, as well as their jajangmyeon. I haven't had jajangmyeon in such a long time. Saw this on the menu. This looks awesome. Look at this. Jajangmyeon with slices of pork belly on top. Never seen that before. Fried eggplant with whole chili sesame. This thing smells amazing. Oh, little bits of meat on top as well. And this sweet and sour pork. Always get this whenever you're getting jajangmyeon, the perfect compliment. This thing right now with shredded onions and cabbage on top and soaked in sweet and sour sauce. I'm so excited for this. Really, I haven't had jajangmyeon maybe a year at least. And honestly, finding a good bowl of jajangmyeon, not easy to do. The pork belly is delicious. That's nice and juicy. Chewy al dente noodles, earthy and sweet jajang sauce. Chase it with some sweet and sour pork. Mmm. Mmm. This is so good. Crispy, meaty, sweet, and sour. Pairs perfectly with these noodles. So does the pork belly that was on top of this bowl. Jajang man and sweet and sour pork. One of my favorite Korean food items. I like the fact that they give you some um, onions and, and cabbage as well, because both of these items can get really heavy. So a bite of this, cleanse the palate a little bit, and then dig right back in. I'm actually super excited about this. Spicy fried eggplant. Mmm, this is a must try. Super crispy outer shell. So garlicky. They definitely garlic the heck out of this dish. The whole thing is spicy as well. 
This is a really good restaurant. I didn't even have their jjampong yet, which is their number one rated dish, but just the jjajangmyeon, the pork and eggplant, so spicy and hearty, perfect on a snowy night like this. Think about getting a bubble tea after that? I think the wise decision is just to go home. See you in the morning.